What is happening, people of YouTube? I am here today to uh, kind of share my experiences with Bumpbox as a brand. Um, I am a UPS driver and a skateboarder, so I take this thing with me everywhere I go, and I can always count on it to be loud, louder than any diesel engine we have, um, and louder than any uh, skate park shenanigans. So it's uh, an absolute asset to me. And um, I was pretty bummed when I started having battery issues with it. Uh, I want to first and foremost say that this one is a, a Flare 6. Uh, it was purchased off of OfferUp. The guy rarely used it and uh, sold it to me for a great price. Um, I've had it for about a year and uh, have nothing but great things to say about it. Um, at times I almost felt like it was a little advanced for me because it has a uh, mic in which I, if I'm not mistaken, that means you can plug a guitar or an instrument into it and have yourself a nice amp. Um, it's got volume, bass, treble, and mic volume as well, so that would be your, uh, uh, whatever you're, you're running through it, that'll control the volume for it. and. Um, it's also got two USB, um, uh, I, it's got a USB in and a USB out, as well as a card reader, and a line in and a line out. So this thing is um, got all the bells and whistles, like I said, almost a little more advanced than I would prefer. Uh, but, um, like I said, I started having battery issues with it. I did a little research and um, a guy locally at one of our hobby shops in town um, decided to uh, take a look at it and see what he could do. And um, for whatever reason, uh, Bumpbox, uh, they, they uh, sealed this thing completely locked tight. It's almost as if they put a weatherproof seal um, because uh, after we took out all of the uh, little screws, it's all Allen that they use, Allen key. Uh, we took them all out and we couldn't couldn't get the, the face off of it to get inside. And what's even stranger uh, is the bottom of the bump, the Flare 6 has these, uh, these two screws next to um, the label for the, the item itself. And uh, these actually don't, screw into anything there's nothing for them to bite onto uh, so it's just kind of an odd just a weird question you can't really find much about working on these that's that's part of the reason I'm making this video is so that um, consumers can kind of know that uh, well it's not the easiest thing to fix um, you can you can buy all of these uh, the mesh pieces for the speakers and um, handles and straps you can buy on the website direct no problem but uh, when you're talking about a battery that's that's something that uh, you would uh, you would think would be kind of easily accessible but it's it's not so um, that being said I've been on the hunt for a new bump box um, right now they have a promotion Black Friday type of thing uh, if you buy a bump box they give you a bunch of free stuff and um I, I looked at the the little the little flyer for it online and it's just uh really nothing of of use to me anyway a t-shirt and uh uh a necklace of some it's a little pendant of a bump box which is if that's your thing check check out that website but um uh i want to get on to uh the new bump box because after my research I, I discovered that Walmart is oddly enough a bump box dealer um, this is the only model that they carry and oddly enough this is a Walmart exclusive um, that being said I uh, we have a lot of Walmarts here in uh, my part of Arizona a lot of super centers and I checked online um, it said in stock at, at all of my local Walmarts and um, I start I start hitting them up and they uh, they have no idea why 
why why are we uh, empty out on the front storefront and in the back we're empty but we show that we have two um, at the store and um, somewhere around the third or fourth Walmart the, the guy told me yeah this is one of our most stolen items uh, I've never even seen one he told me in person because they, they stock them and then they disappear so uh, very interesting um, by no means am I condoning that method of getting a bump box however um, I do want it to be known that after a little bit of uh, legwork um, I was able to locate these locally there was two at the store that I found them at so um, very cool uh, to know that you don't have to have it shipped to you and if you're like me you're, you're gone 12 hours a day and you don't want one of these sitting on your porch so very cool um, hate to say that at Walmart of all places but uh, uh, one of my main things to, to also grab it from Walmart is that I know uh, with just about anything that has a battery or plugs in they'll sell you an extended warranty on it and a lot of the videos I've seen on YouTube talking about bump boxes that oh I'm disappointed with it and um, I just didn't want to I wanted to take all the precautions make sure that you know I, I have this thing and uh, if something's up with it it'll get replaced however uh, there is no extended warranty the only thing that they offer uh, at Walmart is uh, the the standard one year um, normal uh, warranty through bump box so um, that's at least to, to have the receipt and um, another thing too is that they always say to keep every piece of packaging that came with the bump box just in case you have to send it back so uh, I did go ahead and do that um, anyhow let's let's jump right into the uh, the features of the I'm sorry this is a, a bump box ultra plus so uh, the standard ultra model um, is standalone and this one comes with a microphone I believe is the, the only difference um, anyhow this thing is so sick uh, I'm delighted to check it out um, I'm gonna take it to a local uh, shopping center where it's it's 645 right now so I think I could get away with uh, blasting this thing uh, non copyrighted music of course all right so I made it to the uh, flat ground spot this is where I come to have a nice peaceful flat ground sesh um, nice and uh, empty for me to blare this shit so let's find ourselves a generic trap beat the one that gives us a warning because of how generic it is well, let's see how loud this thing bumps <laughs> of the uh, bump box ultra plus and I've had a chance to take it to work and uh, really just see how long can we get it to last for uh, because I'm out there for sometimes 14 hours and then uh, because it's peak season I have the opportunity to pick up extra hours in the warehouse and with the big heavy machinery moving around this thing is actually so sick, um, it out bumps anyone who tries to compete with me uh, is actually super bummed out when they try uh, because this thing is uh, not surprisingly uh, very loud. Uh, the other videos I've seen um, regarding this model uh, say that there's an issue with the bass. Uh, I have yet to have an issue. Um, uh, another issue I've seen is crackling. I've not had that happen once 
And keep in mind, I'm trying to be smart with uh, this unit because I want it to last. So I'm not, I'm not blasting it. I'm, I'm getting it to where it needs to be and I keep it there. Uh, but uh, day number one, last Monday, um, this thing died so quick um, and I realized there's one factor that just is damn near uh, pointless to me and that's the the flip of a switch they 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 took out space on the side of this panel to put an LED switch for that and I just can't see um, we're talking four and a half to five hours I got out of it and that's with uh, Bluetooth the whole time um, I'm sure if you did the radio or aux you get much longer but really that it's just so uh, no uh, disrespect to the brand at all I, I love the way these look um, even this model which is uh, like I said the Walmart exclusive it's this uh, graffiti wrap and uh, to be honest, I thought at first, shit, I'm going to have to figure out how do I cover it up or whatever. But really, it's it's clean. Um, I don't feel the need to paint it or do anything. It's something I might do later on um, if I wanted to maybe do a, a birdhouse skateboards theme to it or something. But uh, really, it's clean and I want to um, keep it clean. So um, the size of it is a very big uh, drastic difference from the Flare 6. Um, it's, it's quite uh, compact. So, um, you know, carrying it and um, traveling with it, it's great in that aspect. Uh, but I will be honest, I kind of wish it was a little heavier. It's only seven pounds. And uh, when I strap it into my truck at work, I want to kind of lock it in and make sure that it's not going to wiggle. And it's tough to find a good spot for it to not wiggle. Uh, plus, the uh, spot where the, the straps um, hook on to these bolts, they... Um, no issue with it, I just wish it was a little more um, uh, assuring that, you know, after over time unbuckling and buckling it back down, um, I'm not going to say this is a, you know, not a good strap by any means, it, it seems to be a good strap and all, it's just the, the way that it fastens is uh, kind of a concern to me, so I almost want to see about um, turning it into uh, the way the uh, Flare 6 has the, the clips for its, uh, for its um, what is it, the, uh, the rope, that whatever, the handle, sorry. Um, but again, this, this is just, to me, uh, why would you even, um, if that's going to, be a five hour difference um another another thing i want to mention too um saturday yesterday i worked from i got up at twelve thirty. i hooked this up to my bluetooth at twelve forty five, and uh worked all morning and got home and i was in the shower at nine forty five when it died so got 10 plus hours of it on um, Bluetooth only. And to be honest, I uh, actually pressed record uh, on, the, on the camera ready to curse the, the little um, radio feature that they put into the Ultra. And um, I just realized that with use of the included um, remote, the radio is actually so awesome um i can't tell you how huge this is because um as a delivery driver i'm out there sometimes in the boonies and currently my route 
is near a, a freeway and it interferes with my music all day so um, to be able to play radio at such a pristine quality and I want to stress this to you I'm just hearing the radio for the first time and I'm blown away at how crystal clear um, my local radio stations are coming through on this thing and I'm genuinely stoked uh, to start the week tomorrow with it um, but this will be I'm not sure if music will be playing right now but let's just see So unfortunately, it's uh, Guns N' Roses, um, and not even one of the decent Guns N' Roses. So I'm going to see, uh, with use of the mini remote, if I can go to um, another radio station we have here in Florence, which is Straight Boonies. There's nothing out there in Florence, and this guy has a radio station out of his garage that he just lets his collection of music go crazy on shuffle and it's amazing so let's see if a DIY radio station will come through using mini remote I don't think it wants to come through skipped right past it it's a little you know it I, I gotta figure radio would be the last thing on their list that they want to uh, put money into and uh, make super intuitive because most people are trying to play this at their party and um, whatnot you know last thing would be the radio but in my perspective this is a game changer I believe this is the only uh, model that has the option for radio so uh, we're going to try 94.5, cool 94.5. It's great quality uh, just picking up out of the the air the the radio frequencies I mean it's kind of something that we take completely for granted who gives a shit right we have Spotify Pandora YouTube all that but um, it's very cool um, I, I want to also mention um, the buttons on this panel are they they feel much um, uh, less state I, I don't want to say stable less reliable than the flare six um, the buttons on that one are are uh, thick wide and flat these ones stick out quite a bit and um, they have a little wiggle to them when you press them but not a not a deal breaker by any means. Um, Again, I wanted to make this video because there's not much on these um, as far as uh, kind of features and uh, what they do um, and the differences between the models. So um, if you can't tell, I, I collect skateboarding stuff and I feel like I might be a bump box collector as well now because these things are awesome, dude. So um, yeah, if you uh, have any questions with it, feel free to hit me with a, a comment and, and I will do my best to answer, man. So uh, have yourself a good one. Happy holidays to you and uh, bump box on.